Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Technical Let's Play. My name is MCSH and let's begin things. So in our last episode we wrote a library for our shaky friend right here that would allow us to do things a little bit easier I'd say. And I'm going to improve that library here. So first of all, I figured how this charger works. Um, right after the episode, I read the manual, and you need to provide redstone uh, in order to charge your robots. And yeah, let me just turn this off and on again, so you won't see the history. Right. So let's begin things by showing you. Uh, this file. Remove that Lua. So, um, remember how our code used to have lots of if and else? I changed it a bit, and so now instead of having a bunch of if and else, we have a dictionary, I think is what it's called, that uh, basically maps characters to functions. So, for example, if the user types in f, we want to use the function robot.forward. If the user types b, we want to use robot.back. And this goes on, the list is um, pretty much extensive. And then, if the piston component is available, we want to use the command p for component.piston.push. And if we have inventory controller, we want e for equip. And then our function is changed into this. So whenever um, we want to do something, we look up the command and then we just run it. And if C is not defined or if C is nil, we print this is not found. And basically that's it. I haven't changed anything else. And yeah. I also implemented a function called run. This, uh, the, uh, basically this does this. I can type in run forward two times and then backward two times. And this would run it. It is just for, uh, you know, testing extra things and stuff like that. Um, so how does this work? Basically we, um, Import we require the move command that we defined, and uh, this is an extra safety measure. Uh, we want to remove any previously loaded move library because we might change the move file without restarting the robot. And if we do that without restarting the robot and we require it, uh, it will load an uh, older version, which is something we don't want. Anyway, um. What I do is uh, we parse the arguments and uh, we loop over them and basically pass them to the move function that we defined earlier. So it would be run forward two forward two. This will call the uh, move function with f2 once and then f2 another time. Or if we do this like this, uh, these um, five characters would be passed once and then these two and then these two. The result is pretty much the same, just different way of calling it. All right, so um, let's test something here. I wanna basically start using Shaky, and uh, the first real world thing that we're going to test is harvesting of crops because, let's face it, we want to do that pretty much soon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna edit a file named crop.lua and the way this is going to work is we are going to require move and then write a bunch of code that brings shaky two blocks up and then forward until here and then come back to where it began. So I will skip and come back when the program is finished. See ya! Alright, I am back and uh, it took me 
I think less than a minute to write the program. So let's move Shaky to here and demonstrate. We have to restart the robot because when we move it, it breaks it basically. So run the crop algorithm. It goes up once and then keeps moving forward. It right clicks on the ground and then comes back to where it began. Pretty simple, right? Let's see the code. Basically, we move up once and then nine times we move forward, use down, and then suck. Suck the items and then repeat it. After that, we come back nine times and go down one block. Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, we just saw it in action. So let's see if it works here as well. I'm going to say run turn left and then forward two times and then turn right right and then do crop nice simple and effective and you can see that it gathers all the resources but um let's do it again so a few rows down and then the crop again but this time I'm going to stand in your way did you see that it did not finish to the end and it went back two blocks why is that well basically let me just uh, take the shaky to our home here Um, excuse me. Right. Sorry for that. So basically, the reason that that happened is because we do not have any method, any method of using a error handling. So when we say the robot to move forward, let me open the move file. When we say the robot to move forward. If the robot succeeds, um, or if it doesn't, we don't care, we just move on to the next act. You see, there is no place that we are handling anything. So how can we change that? I have prepared a file to demonstrate that, let me just replace it. So I need to replace move handler with... Move, move handler and let's just move it because I'm sure this is fine so this new file is basically the old file except if you notice there used to be a return statement here that I got rid of and we are uh, receiving an extra parameter called called handler which we will we'll call if the status is not true so basically this status in um, open computers tells whether a function that we try to run work correctly or not and when uh, it has not su succeed we wanna look into it we wanna basically try to handle it so where does this handle come from in our move function, we have another uh, extra parameter called handler that we pass down. You see, this handler is passed down to this other handler. And uh, in order to simplify things, I have written a general handler. Let me change this back to move. So this handler is pretty straightforward. It basically listens for the reason if the reason was an entity so if an entity for example a user a person or an animal or anything else that is an entity did not allow the robot to do its job it will print out entity and then it will try it again so it will try it and try it and try it and try it until that um, basically that entity has moved out of the robot's way and if the reason is solid 
basically if there is a block in front of the robot what it will, it will do is uh, it will look for what the action was if the action was forward we will swing if the action is down we will swing down if the action is up we will swing up and then try that action again and if uh, it's not solid or entity we will just say uh, unhandle reason and then try again that's basically it so let's see this in action so i'm gonna move run handler to run and open this file i think i need to change this to move so basically you can see that the only thing that changes is when we will call the move function we will provide a handler and the reason why i have uh, put this extra option here is because well we might need a very specific handler for example if we are trying to move in a farm and there's an entity in front of us we might want to kill it or so, things like that so let's try it out um if i say run forward two times and then go back you know shaky cannot move forward because i am in front of it and it's typing entity and trying again what if i move but place a block of sand here you see shaky broke that sand block and it also printed solid in the error log which is perfect this is exactly what we want so let's update our crop function we basically want to ensure that we are using the right handler in each and every one of these so let's take shaky and it's night time so i'll be try to sleep first all right let's see if the new function is working so i will put shaky down here turn it on and then oops it's okay and then run the crop file ooh there is an error um i think we can get a nil value local reason where this error happened in the file handler lua line 19. let's see what line 19 is basically line 19 is unhandled reason interesting okay this this is an easy fix so if reason is available then print else print unhandle reason and then end let's try again Come on, Shaky. We believe in you. Unhandled reason. Um, why are you failing? Oh, 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 okay. I think I know why. So basically, Shaky is trying to use, and the use function is returning false because, well, it was not able to use. And it's okay. We can um, we can look into that. So if we can add an extra else clause, I think it should be. So if the reason is not entity and it's not solid, check to see if the act is used or act is used down or act is used up then ignore it everything is fine
Well, at least for this scenario. What is the problem? Um, and expected to close function. I uh, did I? Yeah, we don't need this. Shaky, my friend. I am disappointed. All right, let me debug this code and I'll be right back. Okay, it turned out to be an easy fix. So basically, the problem was other than other than all of these use functions, the sub command could return false as well. So I just added that. And uh, I also added an extra debug command. So whenever we do not know why something failed, we print uh, unhandled reason while doing something. And I think I can bring this one line down to make it a little bit prettier, like that. Yeah. Anyway, so let's uh, turn left, forward two blocks, and then right. Okay, there are some things that have grown here. You can see that this will go on, and if I stand in front of it, it says empty, empty, empty. And if I move it around, it will just continue. Let's keep saying entity again. And it does the job flawlessly. Alright, so now we have a script that allows Shaky to basically harvest one row of our crops and if you have noticed uh, while Shaky uses down here it will automatically harvest crops in a plus sign so we do need to do this every other row but still this is not completely automated we want it to be completely automated so how can we do that? Let me turn on Shaky and edit the crop file. So this is what we do as of now. Um, what we can do is we can wrap this all in a function. So we do function row. Is this how we define functions? Um, let me just check. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for that. And let's indent this for extra readability. All right. And what we want to do is we want to run this function basically nine times, or rather four times. So for i from one to four, do you move that move? Um, I'm sorry, do a row and then move that move, turn left, forward two times and then turn right, right? And then when everything is done, let's see, so the first time will end up here, second time will end up here, third time will end up here, fourth time will end up here, I think. So then we want to turn right, turn right and move forward eight times and then turn left. Let's test and see how this ends up. Alright, alright. That wasn't bad. And I should probably pass forward this. All right, so when uh, it needed to do it one more time before turning back, which is not a problem, we can do an extra row here, basically. 
Let's do it once more. Because why not? Well, that was perfect. I'm not sure if I will keep the old thing in or if I may fast forward or something else. But that was actually perfect. Thank you, Shaky. So, uh, my friends, thank you for joining me. I think I have, this is all the time I have for this episode. And I will try to improve things in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.